Let's talk about WordPress shortcodes. There are small groups of code which you can copy from free libraries like this and then paste it into your site to get different functionalities and benefits. Basically, they make it easy to add advanced functionalities to your site without needing coding knowledge. For example, if you want to add an audio player to your post, you just use the audio shortcode and WordPress automatically processes it and displays the player. So this is a complete crash course on how to use WordPress shortcodes and I'll show you how to use some of the popular ones as demo. Before we get into all that, let us understand two main types of shortcodes in WordPress. Self-closing shortcodes and enclosing shortcodes. Self-closing shortcodes don't need an end tag. These are for things like audio, video and gallery. You just place the shortcode in your post or page and WordPress takes care of the rest. Enclosing shortcodes, on the other hand, require both an opening and a closing tag. They are used to wrap content like the caption shortcode that lets you add captions around your images or other elements. Now, WordPress comes with several built-in shortcodes to help you get started. These include shortcodes for audio, galleries, videos, and playlists, all without installing extra plugins. But what if you need a custom feature? That's where creating your own shortcodes comes in handy. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. First, you'll need to access your site's files using FTP or a file manager. Once you're in, go to the themes folder and create a new file like custom shortcodes.php. In this file, you'll define the custom shortcode function and then register it using this code in your functions.php file. That's it. You can now use your custom shortcode anywhere on your site. Now, if you're looking to take things even further, let's talk about WordPress shortcode AI. This API lets you define and manage shortcodes, allowing you to create more complex features like custom forms, carousels, or sliders. With this API, you don't have to worry about manually parsing the shortcode content. It automatically handles the tricky stuff for you. And when you register a shortcode with this function, the WordPress shortcode API ensures that it's processed properly and outputs the correct content on your site. You'll also need to use callback functions when working with custom shortcodes. These functions process the attributes and content that are passed to the shortcode, allowing you to customize the output. For instance, if you're creating a shortcode to display a list of social media links, the callback function will handle the formatting and display of those links based on the attributes you provide. In addition to custom shortcodes, there are some cool plugins out there that make it even easier to enhance your site with shortcodes. For example, all-in-one shortcodes offer over 100 pre-built shortcodes for things like buttons, sliders, and pricing tables. Another great option is Shortcodes Ultimate which provides a variety of shortcodes for elements like accordions, tabs, and carousels. These plugins give you a ton of extra functionality without needing to touch a single line of code. You can easily add cool features to your site in no time. When adding shortcodes to your content, it's simple to do so directly in your post or pages. If you're using widgets, you can insert them into a text widget. For more advanced placement, you can use this function to output shortcodes anywhere in your theme files, like in your header or footer. This gives you the flexibility to add shortcodes across your site, no matter where you need them. It's also important to note that while shortcodes are powerful, using too many can impact your site's performance. So it's best to only use shortcodes for elements that you'll reuse across your site. Additionally, always make sure your plugins and themes are updated to avoid compatibility issues with newer versions of WordPress. If you're new to creating custom shortcodes, don't worry, I've linked all the code snippets for the default shortcodes and the custom examples in the description below. So you can copy and paste them directly into your site. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.